Okay, this is my daughter and son-in-law's house that they purchased recently. And the inspector said, these columns have to go. So there's a buckle in the living room floor. And I think that this is the reason why there's a buckle in the living room floor. I strung a line all the way from that corner to that corner. And there's probably... Let's see what the difference is here. Okay. I'm going to say that there's probably an inch and a quarter difference between where this is and where this should be. So today, my friend Jay and I, we're going to attempt to put these lolly columns in place. And this is a complete kit. And it has, this is the base, and it has Allen screws in it to adjust them. You cut them down to size anyway, so on and so forth. Dean Columns. I found these people online. Local hardware store carried them. So this is what we're going to attempt to do today. At least we're going to at least replace that one and that one. That one was put in many years ago, and the original one apparently rotted out so we're in the process of fixing that hole and then I'm gonna jack this beam up and then we're gonna put lally columns in there there and there all right back at you all right first columns in And as you can see, we took out a complete inch and a half compared to where it was. That's my support hydraulic jack there. We're going to overkill this a little bit by putting a column here and another one there. Uh, don't ask me why. That's just the way I'm doing it. So we're concreting the pad in because it was real, there was a there was a column there. <clears throat> we had to fill the hole, grind it down. The floor is so unlevel that we just did we just leveled it off with some concrete. And this one here, there was no column here. There was a two by four post here with a light switch on it. We moved the light switch to there. Put that in there and right down to the base concrete that was there. This is the original column with, built with the house in the 50s. And it's very solid down there, but we're still going to take these out eventually. I'm going to shift this one about an inch that way. And as you can see with the string, there's about a quarter of an inch sag between there and there. Uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to take that out. I doubt it. But... We're gonna, and once this is all done, there's going to be five columns in this house. And you can see I, I hit this with a hammer, and you can see that you know it's flaking off, but it's still pretty solid. We're going to cut them out anyway and replace them all with these columns. These are cement-filled columns. They're three and a half. They were eight, but we cut them down. Um, again, these are Dean columns. There's a Dean columns dot com number there uh, we had to buy these through a dealer dean columns would not sell them to us so we had to go through one of their dealers but they have a online service they have a phone line that you can call them and they're very helpful on the phone um anyway so when this is all done the house will be level again bye all right, I'm back at my daughter's house, 1950s era built house. We're replacing the lolly columns. So I just wanted to say, I wanted to show, there's the center of the carrier beam right there, or close to it. And there's where the old column was. So we have a small issue with that, but I'm going to fix all that. And 
basically I've got these little frameworks here. I'm going to put these little frameworks here like that. And I'm going to I'm going to pour some concrete in there to fill the hole and then locate my plate, kind of level it off with this little framework here. And as you can see, I've taken the support out of those there and the house is back on, on this side, the house is back on the columns. So, if you ever want to take this endeavor on, I mean, there's some things that you can do differently, I'm sure. Everyone has their own little way of doing things. But, it's an old house, and we're trying to make the old house better. <clears throat> this one I didn't put a concrete pad under it because it was going into the floor. There was no beam here. So this one is just flat down on the concrete, adjusted in, tightened up the whole nine yards. As other, other than this one, this was where the old column was, so I had to fill the hole and then I had to kind of level it all off to make it, to make it work. I didn't have these little frames made up yesterday because I wasn't sure what I was doing. So I made these little frames up yesterday, or I made them up this morning actually. And uh, I'm going to fill it with concrete, level it off, cut the new columns there. There's my 20 ton bottle jack, 8 by 8 And I've already taken, I've taken two old columns out already. And basically, this is what we're working with. Now, again, these columns are solid. They weren't, they didn't need to come out. But because I'm doing the others, I'm going to do them all. Later. All right. <clears throat> There's my little concrete block box. The pads in place. As you can see with the plumb line, I'm pretty damn close to where I want to be in relationship to the center of the carrier beam. And then this one over here is concreted in place. And then now all I got to do is cut those two down to size, drill them, put the capture plates on them and then put them in place. Filled the hole. Um, it's kind of a little off backwards the way the company tells you to do it. They want you to put the adjustment plate on the lally column and then put that big plate, there's two holes there to thread the uh, bolts through. these plates here, Let's get that over because those, that's the countersunk side, and then these, uh, where are they? these Allen screw, these uh, stud bolts go down through there, thread through there, and thread into that, thread into that bottom plate, but because I'm concreting these in place, uh, my bottom plate, I'll just set them Set the screws in it when I put the columns in place. Later. All right. If you remember before, I said these columns were a system. So I wanted to show how these top plates go on. The column is built with this steel cap on the top with a threaded insert. And then this plate here has a recess for this big bolt and then it has the tabs that go around this end. And then I measure the gap. Let's see. I measure the gap from there to there. And I cut this column. I'm going to cut it roughly an inch and a half short, shorter than the distance between the floor and carrying post. So I just wanted to show you how this system works. I'll come back and show you how to, uh, how it, all goes together.
Okay, the job's almost done. Everything's installed where it's supposed to be. That's not dry yet. That's not dry yet. So I'm going to take that out at a later date after all these dry out. Uh, let's see, all in all, this was a really pretty good job. Simple as far as, you know, I improved myself as I went along making these little boxes to put the concrete in where I didn't do that down there. Um, one man job, yep, to some degree or another. Uh, I think I've got five hours into this, maybe six. I had help yesterday from my good friend Jay Goodwin. Thank you, Jay. Um, Bella Tate's uh, Lumber over in Nashua, New Hampshire. They're the dealer that I used for this. Again, there it is, deancolumns.com, Queensbury, New York. Um, very good company. Love the idea of what they've done here as far as their designs go. I think this pole is 65,000 pounds capacity. I think that's what it's rated at. Um, so there shouldn't be any issues with weight bearing on this setup. Uh, very good. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. It's just, it was pretty much an easy job to do. Uh, the house is now level again. I never did get rid of the buckle in the hardwood floor upstairs. I think that's going to take a little bit of different, a little bit of other work to get that done. Um, but, I mean, you can, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's still a little bit of a swale in between the columns. I mean, the house was built in the 50s. What do you want? But that inch and a quarter dip that was down here is gone. Um, made a hell of a difference. Putting in new, uh, putting in these new columns. Got any questions? You know what to do. Type them down in the bottom, and I'll uh, make sure I get a chance to answer them as soon as I can. Um, when I get this edited, I'll try to put links in for everything. Later.